computer skills, and a whole bunch of other 21st century skills that you can use later on in life. And there's a whole bunch of people that want you. Of course, I'm speaking about colleges. Colleges have the first scholarship program with millions upon millions of dollars that they're willing to just give you for being part of first. As a first scholarship recipient myself, I can tell you the amazing benefits of this program, but you don't have to take my word for it. We have a video with other board members, so let's roll that out. Bart Kamen Memorial for Scholarships. Behind us is Championship Scholarship Row, and it's packed with representatives from schools all across the world. College is coming. He's right, college is coming. And luckily for you, all the experiences that you gained with FIRST mean a lot to colleges and universities. There are hundreds of schools offering millions of dollars in scholarships to FIRST participants as part of the FIRST Scholarship Program. The FIRST experience is so intense. It seems like it's all about being in the moment. Your teammates, sponsors, and are all counting on you. But don't forget to put some of that focus on yourself and your future. As a junior, I was elected director of community outreach for FIRST Robotics Competition Team 178 for second law enforcers. It was great exposure to groups outside my robotics team and a whole lot of work. I filled other roles in my team as well, and sharing those experiences has helped me earn my first scholarship, which I'm using to attend an Ivy League school. I was on FRC Team 75, the Rotorators, for four years. In my senior year, I was a team president, and I spent a lot of time doing whatever it took to keep us on track. I'm glad I was able to use what I learned to earn my first scholarship, which has made it possible for me to pursue my career in medicine. It's easy to get started. Just go to the first scholarships page at usfirst.org slash scholarships. There are lots of resources there, including descriptions and applications for all of the current first scholarship opportunities. New scholarships are being added all the time, but don't wait until the last minute to apply. That's right. All first scholarship deadlines are set by the institutions that offer them. Most of them fall between December and May. So don't forget, right now, if you're in your senior year, go to usfirst.org slash scholarships and apply for any of the scholarships that you're interested in. Many first events may have scholarship pros set up, where you can talk face to face with many of the providers just like we're doing here at Championship. This is especially important for all of you freshmen, sophomores, and juniors on teams. Start preparing now. So don't forget to apply, 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 apply. And visit us at usfirst.org slash scholarships. We'll see you on campus. We do have one more video to show you. It's the award-winning safety animation created by FRC Team 133, Team Burt out of Standish, Maine. Are you tired of being in danger while trying to be a supervillain? Great! You can change that by going to safety school. First lesson, always wear your safety glasses. More here on Hatch of the Series. Even the laboratory, on the field or in the pits. Second lesson, when working on robots in the pits, use safety gloves. Third lesson, safety tools. Know what's happening around you. Being aware of prevent potential accidents. Final lesson, in the case of an accident, always keep a first aid kit nearby at all times. Now, go out there and rule the world with your newfound knowledge. Coaches, parents, and the crowd, please stand. Whether it's Junior First Lego League, First Lego League, First Tech Challenge, or First Robotics Competitions, you can always get more information on that at usfirst.org. Now, before we get started with the robots, I would ask everyone to please stand for our country's national anthem, as performed by four members of the Mount Olive High School Choir. Emily Sukowski, Zachary Richards, Bryce Burns, 